is Mrs. Reese and Sherry back with another story from the Bible in the book of Luke, chapter 17. And Sherry, hmm, there's 10 men in the story that Jesus gives a gift to. Oh, I want a gift. <laughs> well, you know what, Sherry? You and I have both, and those kids out there, we've received many gifts from Jesus. And in this story, Jesus is going to teach us how important it is to be thankful. Okay, because you know what? Ten men got a gift and only one said thank you. You're kidding. No. Why? Can I just make sure we have the right number? I mean, I wouldn't want you to tell a story and get all goofed up with the wrong number. Okay, count the men, Sherry. One, two, three, skip a few, ten. You're good. Thanks, Sherry. Boys and girls, now on Jesus' way to Jerusalem, he was traveling along the border between the country of Samaria and the country of Galilee. And as he was going to a village... There were 10 men that had to be outside the city because of a skin disease called leprosy. It's very, very contagious, very serious. And according to the laws of that time, they had to be put outside the city. They couldn't be with their families. You can see those little tents in the back where, where they you know, kept their things, where they maybe slept. And um, so Jesus, he's going into a village and 10 men who had leprosy met him and sure he counted those for us. And when he and and they were calling out to him, they stood at a distance and they said in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And Jesus, when he saw them, he went a little closer and said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, as they went, they went to the priests, they were healed, they were cleansed. Now, boys and girls, you have to understand something, that the priests in that time, they had the official um, power and authority to um, check over people if they had any kind of sickness or disease or whatever was going on in their body. They always had to go to the priest, and the priest would either um, tell them still what they needed to do to get better, or they would officially declare them cleansed and healed. And Jesus was following the law of that time. And he still healed them. But they still needed to go through the law. If the priests wouldn't say they were clean, they couldn't go back to their families. So that was very important. So I wonder which one of those is going to be the one to come back. What do you think? Well, let's find out. So they went on their way. And they're very, they're, they're good. They believe them. They're going. They're headed out. And, and they're going to the priests. And in the Bible, in the book of Luke, in chapter 17, it says one of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice, and he threw himself at Jesus' feet. Wow. One of them. Where's the other nine? In fact, I'm not the only one to ask that question, or are you? Because in the Bible, it says that Jesus said, were not all ten cleansed? Jesus knew all ten he healed of that awful, awful, terrible disease, leprosy. He knew they were all healed, and he knew really why he came back. But he still said, so that we can read it today and really know about it, he said, Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. So he did get healed. He was made well by Jesus. And it was this one in the group. So he rose and he was healed. And he still needed to go to the priest, though. Because remember the reason? In order to get back with his family, the priests in those times were the ones to check them over and officially declare. Because they were looking out for everybody in the city. It, that disease was that contagious. And Jesus respected, respected all the rules and regulations of the time. The Bible says that he was a Samaritan. He was from the country of Samaria. 
Remember the parable of the Good Samaritan, the one who was the only one to take care of the man who was beaten and robbed? Well, this is another man from the same country. Jesus loves everyone, no matter what country they're from. He loves, he loves us all. What you think, Sherry? Uh, I think I need to be more thankful. That's true for all of us, Sherry. Um, you know, we we're talking about gifts that Jesus gives. Well, the first gift when you get to know Jesus and ask him to be your Savior is the fact that he gives you his gift of righteousness. What's that? Well, that means that before that gift, you could not go in the presence of God because of our sin. But Jesus took all of our sin, the whole world's sin, and gave us, who love him and want him as our Lord, the gift of righteousness, which we are able to stand before God anytime, anywhere, any day, any moment. And God does not see our sin. He sees his beloved, wonderful son, Jesus in our place. Wow. He doesn't see us? Oh, yes. He sees us. I'm talking about he doesn't see the sin in our in our life because we want forgiveness and we want to go on for God. Sounds good to me. It sure does. So, remember to be thankful, okay? <laughs> thankful for everything in your life. <laughs> okay.